right, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to take a well-used and abused and filthy server and turn it into this. All right, let's get this thing uh, wiped down on the outside and we'll uh, open it up and clean up the inside a bit more and <laughs> and I took an air compressor to this and uh, blew it out as best as I could. So it's definitely a lot cleaner. It's still pretty dusty. The <clears throat> heat sinks were pretty packed full, but I think I've got the major chunks out of it. Uh, these fans, these fans are going to be difficult um because they're they're packed full let's see if i can't get that off where's the clip right there so those will just pull out but as you can see it's absolutely caked caked on dirt again this server was um in an electrical mezzanine above um, a very large printing press. So super dusty environment. And there's like ink mist in the air and just tons and tons of dust. And uh, yeah, this is where it lived its whole life. All right, got the fans pretty clean. Um, doesn't seem to be any caked on residue anymore. There's still a little bit of like there's still a little dust residue, but it's a lot better than what it was. I did actually disassemble one fan. Um, and I'm not sure you can see that little clip there, but it's spring loaded. What a pain in the ass that was. So I actually just washed all of these and then um, I've uh, dried them with, com with compressed air. Uh, they all spin pretty free. I don't know if they're noisy. I haven't really turned on the server before. I may actually just put a little bit of uh, machine oil under each one of these and I'll, I'll put tape back over that again to keep the dust out but yeah okay i'm going to take this entirely apart and clean out this chassis and wipe out all the dust and then we're going to uh, re-thermal paste and get the hard drives installed and get an os installed and get true nas back up and running all right i have everything absolutely spick and span just beautiful there's some fingerprints for me on here but there's no dust the case is beautiful all the little nooks and crannies are clean the fans are clean the motherboard's clean you get it uh did i kind of go overkill sure why not did i want to hell yeah i did i want this server looking brand spanking new so i can get true nas installed on it all right, I'll just snap this thing back together off camera and let's get um, going with the rest of this. Okay, here we go. It is all back together. It's looking mighty fine. Um, the keen eye of, uh, amongst you will notice that uh, something doesn't look right. And uh, that's because um, this particular machine only has uh, four SATA power uh, connectors. And so what I've had to do is use a SATA Y adapter on uh, drive number four, and that runs this uh, solid state drive that I'm going to boot from. And uh, the board does actually have an extra SATA header, so that's totally fine. I'm pretty sure that'll work. I could use, I could boot from USB um, and just leave something in there, but I don't actually want to do that. I'm gonna, I'm just gonna put this uh, 128 gig solid state drive in there. Uh, also, I, um, I put different RAM in, um, this RAM was only, uh, eight gigs in total. And then here I've got, um, I believe it's 48 gigs. Um, that's, uh, DDR3 10600 
every one of those are also DDR3 10600, so I feel it should work. That's also uh, ECC RAM. So yeah, let's get the cover on. I'll get a um, TrueNAS installer, uh, USB installer in there, and I'll just uh, bring it back once it's uh, up and running because I, I already have a video with TrueNAS and uh, we don't need to go over that again. Back in a bit. Hey, Miroslav, let's see if you're actually watching. There. Happy now? Thank you. Okay, and here we are. This is uh, what the final result was, uh, what all this work was for, for this result right here. Um, off camera, I did install my uh, 10 gig uh, NIC, and uh, I also have the 10 gig NIC installed in my main editing machine. Um, we have a data set. Uh, I did have to uh, sacrifice some total space because I could only put four uh, drives in this server. And in my old server, I could put uh, six drives in, but eh, whatever, 21 terabytes is fine. And I have a, a Windows share uh, already set up. And uh, this is my mapped drive to the server. I just started putting some files back on it. Uh, in case you're wondering, um, what's the deal with a new server? Uh, back in October, I had a catastrophic failure of my old server. And uh, so I've been running without a server since October of last year. And my hard drive on my computer, or, well, storage drive, it's been filling up with uh, the videos. So yeah, we're back up and running and um, got another true NAS server back up and running, which is awesome. I'm happy again. And as a matter of fact, I'm editing this video uh, right from the server. All right, this brings us to the end of the video. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, please like, subscribe, and comment, and we'll see you in the next one.